Chair. I'm Brenton Garren, your Executive Editor of Westside Today. I'm joined by Seth Sodder, who is an independent candidate for the 26th State Senate District. Seth, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much, Brenton. Pleasure to be here. Let's start with why you decided to run as a no-preference party candidate. I saw the opportunity that the voters of California have given us uh, in 2010 by Prop 14, which created the open primary and nonpartisan redistricting as a way of opening up the political process and eliminating the ability of any one party to create a safe district. So uh, it opens up competition for everyone, and I focus on reaching to the best ideas and the brightest minds to meet the challenges facing California. Okay. Well, can you share a little bit about yourself and sure. uh, why you're running? Sure, absolutely. Uh, I'm a local boy. Uh, I'm from the South Bay. Grew up in Palos Verdes. I live in Redonda Beach. Um, and uh, and absolutely love our district and I have lived in our district for most of my life. Uh, I'm a lawyer. Uh, I also uh, served in the government after 9-11. I uh, was a lawyer and I was on 9-11 itself. Uh, I was supposed to argue a case in the Court of International Trade in New York City and actually landed in New York uh, right before the Twin Towers were hit. And I saw the Twin Towers uh, uh, with smoke coming from the towers from the Queensboro Bridge in a taxi uh, coming into New York City. And I was privileged uh, to actually have the opportunity to serve my country uh, shortly thereafter because a partner of mine at Gibson Dunn Crutcher, Rob Bonner, asked me in his uh, deep Kansan plus Darth Vader accent, Seth, I need your help, uh, and asked me to serve in the government. So uh, two weeks later, uh, I was in the government. I, was, I served in the Bush administration, although I was actually a Democrat uh, from a partisan political point of view. So uh, party, party preference did not matter at the time. The only thing that mattered was service to country. Mm -hmm. Well, can you share how you think your background uh, would sort of work in the state senate? Sure. I think the most important thing about my background to know is uh, that I am genuinely no party preference. I'm a genuinely a nonpartisan person. I served in the Bush administration as a Democrat. Uh, I also have advised the Obama administration. Um, I continue to advise it on homeland security, national security, uh, counterterrorism, immigration reform issues. And so I think that balance, uh, that, that nonpartisan focus, I think will help me build coalitions of Democrats and Republicans and no party preference independents to meet the challenges facing California. So what would you say are the biggest issues that are faced in Sacramento at this current time? To me, I think the most important things facing, facing the state uh, and the country just in general is how to deal with the rising problem of inequality and lack of so social mobility. Uh, and to me, I think the most important things we need to focus on as a state are revitalizing our economy and fixing our education system. Those are the two key ladders of opportunity for every single Californian. And our economy is uh, an amazing thing. We most, by most analyses, we would say that our economy is absolutely hostile to job creation, and we are, have the fourth worst unemployment in the United States. We have the worst poverty in the United States, uh, and it's time for Sacramento to actually help solve this problem. Mm -hmm. And at what point did you decide that you're going to throw your hat into this race? Well, it's you know it's an evolving thing. Anything uh, with me is slow. Uh, so, but for me, <clears throat> there's a couple things. I mean, I'm a father. Of three kids. I've got a 12 year old daughter uh, and two little boys named Tom and Harry, what we call Thing One and Thing Two. Mm -hmm. And um, I sort of look at them obviously every day and I think, you know, what can I do to make their future brighter? Uh, and also, I speak to schools all over the city. I've, I'm a member of the Youth Business Alliance and I've spoken to schools in East LA, South LA, Englewood. And every time I talk to these classes, and some of the kids out of those classes are now some of my volunteers in the campaign. And I just have this absolute confidence that this next generation of Americans and from, from all over the world, speak languages all over the world, are the next greatest generation. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's incumbent upon me and our generation to clear the decks for them as much as possible. It's like there's an old World War I recruiting poster that has a dad, and I'm a dad, with the kid on his knee uh, saying, Daddy, what did you do during the Great War? And I feel that way about our state right now, that our state needs help, and we need leaders from outside the party machines to come help lead us and fix those problems and fix them for the next generation. That's why I'm running. Mm -hmm. Well, Seth, good luck, and thanks again for joining us. Thank you so much. Perfect. Great to see you. Appreciate Thank you. it. We'll be back next week, so don't forget to check out westsidetoday.com to see who's in the chair. I'm Brenton Garren for Westside TV.